Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, today we are going to be taking on the new uh, Tech God Goku and STR God Vegeta Extreme Z Battle event that just dropped on Global. Well, I mean, technically it came out like two days ago and I actually wanted to do it yesterday, but never got a chance to. So, uh, you know, better late than never. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it and taking a look at the team here. We're basically running a uh, Pure Saiyans team led by the double LR God Goku and Vegeta's. We got the STR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, the LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta, the uh, AGL Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, the INT LR Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, and finally the STR Super Vegeta. In case you guys didn't know, the weakness is uh, Pure Saiyans, so that's why I brought a full team of Pure Saiyans units. And uh, one thing to note is that after level, I think it's 15 or something like that, uh, they do get a pretty significant damage reduction against tech type units. So uh, these guys might not be hitting nearly as hard as they could, but for their leader skills alone, I feel like it's worth it to bring them. And uh, I'm pretty sure the LR Super Saiyan 4s will carry us anyways, so it's not really a huge deal and just like before we do have a timer over my head for those of you that want to race me to see if you can finish it faster than I can although I'm assuming that most of you guys at this point have uh, already finished it so anyways with all that said let's jump right in starting with level one I'm gonna start the timer in three two one and go and we are officially in so with uh, yesterday's Extreme Z battle for Omega Shenron and the uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, we were able to actually one-shot the first, I think, seven or eight levels um, of the event, right? I'm assuming that it's not going to happen here because I'm dumb and uh, I put the LR Super Saiyan 4s in the first slot instead of the gods. So, yeah, of course, with the type disadvantage, weren't able to one-shot the STR Vegeta. Didn't really uh, pay attention to that one, but not a huge deal. Still, basically, you know, we're able to solo him with the LR Super Saiyan 4s, and once we are able to get them a little bit more key, they'll get the attacks effective against all, so they should still be doing a lot of damage, right? And I'm not really sure if this is gonna be, you know, as hard or maybe harder than the uh, other Extreme Z battle that just came out. You would think that like, it should be easier, right? Because the other one was for two Dokkan Festival exclusive units, whereas this one is for two general SSR pool units, but that's not how things always work in this game. And I mean, honestly, the Gogeta and Omega Shenron one was like really easy, but at the same time, I kind of just abused the crap out of the LR Super Saiyan 4s, and um, I mean, we're, pro we're probably going to do the same thing here, so in terms of the challenge, to us at least, it should be about the same. It should be about the same, and I'm aiming for sub 30 minutes here, just like yesterday, although we are off to a bit of a slower start, so I'm not really sure if that's going to be possible, but under 30 minutes is definitely the goal once again. And yeah, we're off to a good start, although the first level took us two hits as opposed to one. I think for like the next couple of levels at least, we should be, you know, one-shotting uh, all the way through to like at least level 10 maybe. I mean, I'll try my best to one-shot as much as possible, so. Here we go. Okay, that's gonna be at least an 18 key super. There we go. And uh, it's kind of unfortunate that the, you know, uh, two anniversary units are not necessarily the best linking partners for each other. Like, they're not bad, I guess, especially because they do get a lot of key for themselves on their passives. So it's not a huge deal that they don't give each other key on their links. But, you know, usually, at least like for the last couple of years, the anniversary units have basically always been the best linking partners, right? Like, uh, you know, for the 
Super Saiyan 4s, the original Super Saiyan 4s, the SDR Goku, and the AGL Vegeta, they're basically ideal for each other. And then the third anniversary with the, um, uh, who was it? <laughs> oh, the, you know, Fizz Gogeta and the Int Vegito. They're really good for each other too. They share like six links. And then for the fourth anniversary, obviously another set of Super Saiyan 4s, amazing linking, linking partners. Uh, fifth anniversary, um, they share at least like five links. Uh, sixth anniversary, kind of the same thing. So I think this year we kind of broke that trend where like you can link the, you know, two anniversary LRs, but there are definitely much better options out there. So it's interesting that we kind of broke that trend. It's not really a huge deal, obviously, because like I said, man, they still work together. Like they can still give each other, you know, a decent amount of, uh, you know, four links is actually not bad, but it's just we're used to having like five, six links between the two anniversary units. But I guess it's because the themes for the two units are a little bit different this time. Like it's still Goku and Vegeta, but we're talking about like movie heroes versus GT heroes, right? So. Anyways, just something that I noticed, something I was thinking about, but it still works. It still works. But I am super excited for the Tech God Coup Extremes the Awakening uh, once we finish this because he, at least from what I can tell, is kind of the ideal linking partner for the uh, Tech LR Gods because um, if you look on paper, the Fizz LR Blue Boys, right, like the original Blue Boys, would be the best linking partner because they share the most links, but they don't share any key, right? And that, you know, makes it hard not for the Tech LR to get a super, but the Fizz LR struggles to get a super, you know, without getting key on their passive. So, uh, or sorry, uh, without getting key from links, right? So. It's actually not that ideal. Like they do share six links, I believe, but I think the tech God, uh, tech God coup is definitely a much better option for the LR gods. And uh, yeah, I'm just stoked to like finally, you know, run them together. Like before, you could still run the God coup with the God boys, but the God coup was not that good. But now he's amazing. He's like arguably the best tank in the game against half the half the enemies in this game because it's pure saiyans and movie heroes right or uh movie bosses movie bosses it's the pure saiyans part that's crazy he gets 77 percent damage reduction against pure saiyans which is just ridiculous man it, it's ridiculous like that's so many enemies in the game like basically you know the legendary goku event the legendary Vegeta event uh most dokkan events even though i guess you're not really worry too much about defense and Dokkan events, but yeah, a lot of Dokkan events, um, what else, you know, a lot of enemies in the, uh, Infinite Dragon Ball History stages, a lot of enemies in Super Battle Road, all pure Saiyans, so, yeah, he just becomes, like, super, super useful, so, yeah, I'm excited for him, the God Vegeta is fine too, but not nearly as good, because instead of getting 77% damage reduction, he's getting... Is it a high chance or a great chance to stun? I forgot. I think it's great chance. It has to be great chance, right? Because if it's only high chance, then that's even worse. Like 50% compared to 70%. So I think it's... I think it's great chance, but I could be wrong. So don't hold me to that, but... Yeah, it's just, it's just not nearly as good. It's just not nearly as good, it's not nearly as useful as um, the Goku's damage reduction, but Vegeta still has his place, of course. He's still fine. I just feel like they shafted Vegeta in this, in this, you know, dual EZA, because based on, like, what I've heard from people, based on, like, my conversations with people, it's kind of like a universal agreement that the, uh, the Goku is better. But yeah, use both. Um, I'm probably gonna run both for a while, just because I like the theme. You know, like I'm, I want to run like a full Broly movie team if I can. Um, speaking of which, when are we getting the Extreme Z Awakenings for the Fizz Broly? 
and the AGL Godita, man. It's been it's been a while. It's been a while. And my theory is that it's gonna be soon. Okay, that's my theory. And also I think it's gonna be a global first. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a global main, obviously, but it's because a couple weeks ago we got that like producer's letter right from koto and she said that there's going to be some kind of global first thing some kind of event uh, for global players first for the international version first and nobody knows what it is but people are very excited about it and i think it's going to be something big i think it's going to be something significant otherwise they wouldn't you know hype it up so much and i think it's gonna be the blue godita and fizz broly extremes the awakenings or at least one of the two, right? It's either gonna be the Blue Gogeta or the Fizz Broly, and then maybe the other side gets the other one. So it's like fair, right? I think they did that for the AGL Rose and Fizz Vegito Blue, where Global got Vegito Blue first, right? And then JP got Rose. Is that how it went? I, for I forgot exactly what the release order was, but I know Global got one of them first, and I think they might do it for um, this duo as well, you know, in the near future, maybe between the 7th anniversary and the worldwide celebration on both sides. That'd be pretty dope. I'd be pretty okay with that. So we'll see. Obviously, this is just pure speculation. Um, I have no basis for, you know, that prediction. It's just like wishful thinking, I guess. And uh, just a quick update on our progress so far. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. 10 minutes in, we are on level 13. So I think we're going through this a little bit faster as you would expect um, compared to yesterday's run. I think we can probably get it done in, well, under 30 minutes, I think is a lock at this point. Um, the question is, can we do it in under 25? That's the new goal, sub 25. That might be pushing it a little bit, but we're gonna try our best. I'ma try my best. Uh, okay, here we go, level 14. Oh, by the way, um, random <laughs> recommendation if you guys haven't seen it yet. Um, this is basically for, I mean, it's, it's, it's mostly for basketball fans, but if you guys just enjoy like a inspirational movie like a feel-good movie then i highly recommend rise on disney plus okay it just came out a couple weeks ago it's a um what, what's the what's the name for like a, bi a biographical film i guess about uh the life of Giannis on tentacupo i probably butchered it as i like he's like my favorite player but i still have a hard time saying his last name but Giannis, right he has a really cool story um, about like how he made his way from Greece to the NBA and like all the stuff that went behind the scenes to make it happen. Um, really good movie. Um, I kind of knew his like story, life story already because I read the book um, <laughs> about his life. But if you guys can't tell, I'm just a big fanboy, big fan, and uh, I really enjoyed the movie. I just watched it yesterday, and uh, it's awesome. It's awesome. So go check it out if you guys are just looking for like a inspirational feel good movie. If you're a basketball fan, then obviously it's like, you know, right up your alley. If not, if you don't really care about basketball, I think most people would still enjoy it just because it's like a, it's a well made movie, you know, like if, even if you don't know the player or like don't really care about like specific NBA players, um, just think of it as like, yeah, one of those generic inspirational sports movies, and it still works for that purpose. So, yeah, that is my movie recommendation <laughs> of the day. Uh, but something else that might be more, you know, relevant for viewers of this channel. Um, this new, like, hour-long episode of Dr. Stone came out a couple days ago. It's called, uh, I think, Ryusui? Ryusui, and it's about like a specific character with that name, and uh, it's basically like a lead-in. It's like a mini, mini movie almost lead-in between 
episode, uh, or not episode, season two and season three, right? So it's like leading into season three, which is coming out soon. And uh, it's freaking awesome, man. It reminds me of exactly why I love Dr. Stone so much. It's honestly become one of my like top five anime of the last 10 years, I guess. Um, it's just one of my favorite like new shows like out there. And when I first saw it, I didn't really know if I was going to be into it because it's like a lot of science stuff, you know, it's like, I'm not like a, I, I mean, I'm not going to say like I don't like science or anything like that, but like I never really, you know, took too many classes in high school, never really, you know, uh, got too much into it at school, but it's really cool. It's really cool. And if someone described to you like what the show was about, they're like, yo, it's about a guy who's really smart and does like cool science things in like this post-apocalyptic world kind of um it might not be like that interesting but trust me it's good it's really freaking good so highly recommend that if you guys aren't into the basketball movie idea i think a lot of you guys would really enjoy dr stone as well and uh, for those of you that have watched dr stone you'll go watch this new new episode uh Ryusui, because um yeah man it's just like everything that's awesome about Dr. Stone, and I can't wait for season three. I really can't. I'm, like, honestly more excited for season three of Dr. Stone than, like, the final part of Attack on Titan. <laughs> like, I know that's going to be a controversial statement, maybe, but it's true. I'm just, I'm just telling you the truth, man. Like, I actually am more excited for the, the, the next season of Dr. Stone. And obviously, like, I really want to see what happens in Attack on Titan. Don't get me wrong. And I didn't read the manga just because I wanted to keep it a surprise, right? Like, could have I could have gone and finished the series already. But the anime is just so good that I, I want to, like, keep it to anime only for now. Maybe, you know, once... Uh, Attack on Titan is fully done. I'll like go back and read the manga as well because I'm sure there are some differences. But yeah, I, I kept it to anime only for now and I'm really excited for that too. But Dr. Stone just like struck a chord with me, man. There's something about that show just like really, really works for me. Okay, anyways, getting back to the run here. Um, I know some of you guys are like, yo, just, just focus on the game, man. Why, why are you talking about all this random stuff? It's because... We don't really need to focus on the gameplay for these videos. I mean, there's been like one or two Extreme Z battles where I legitimately had to really pay attention. And I don't know why I put the gods in the first slot, because they're not going to do a lot of damage here. Like I said, there's there's damage reduction, right? So um, I'm guessing it's going to be pretty... Yeah, there we go. So a bit of a waste of time. It's my bad. Um, but as I was saying, yeah... Uh, there's been like one or two Extreme Z battle events where I've legitimately had to pay attention because like I actually died. Like uh, STR Broly's was tough. The STR LR Broly's Extreme Z battle was actually like kind of a problem. And I think the original Super Saiyan 4s, right? The um, STR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and AGL Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta's Extreme Z Awakening. Uh, or Extreme Z Battle, that event was actually like pretty tough as well. Oh, this is a bad rotation for <laughs> the God Koo. Okay, it's fine. I feel like we're probably not even, not even gonna kill him here, but not a big deal. Gonna waste about 30 seconds, a minute or so, and then we can move on to the other rotation and get him done. But uh, yeah, most Extreme Z Battle events these days, you know, I can, I can pretty much do it like, uh, I mean, <laughs> I was going to say like half asleep, but it's kind of true. It's kind of true. Oh, nice. We got the crit. Perfect. Worked out. Um, but yeah, like you don't really ever have to worry about about dying here because I think they purposely made it a little bit less challenging since it is the anniversary. I was saying this about the seventh anniversary Ultimate Clash 2. I felt like it was actually a little bit easier than the uh, standard ultimate clash because i think they want people to you know not be like super upset or super frustrated that they can't um complete the new ultimate clash right they want most people to be happy 
during the anniversary celebration and stick around after it's done because this is like the best time for them to like bring people back into the game right so um i think they made this as well as the other like the two new extreme z battles just a little bit easier than normal not to say it's like super easy i'm sure you know some people are still having trouble which is always the case for any new events right but it's not too bad now the red zone definitely breaks that right <laughs> breaks that trend because red zone is quite challenging um especially when we get to the later stages like the ones we have right now not you know not terrible especially the first four um i haven't actually done the the four that came out recently for part two so we'll see about that but i know that later on especially when we get to like broly for example that guy is going to be a problem and on the one hand i'm really looking forward to it because i want the challenge on the other hand i'm a little nervous man <laughs> i'm a little nervous about it so we'll see what happens we'll see what happens i'm sure we can get it done it just might take you know a couple tries i might die a lot in that one so for those of you that enjoy watching me die on 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 video um yeah you guys are in for a treat you guys are in for a treat for that one okay so we are just under 20 minutes and we are on level 20 what was it 23 24 let me see 22 okay so we're actually a little bit behind as far as trying to get it done in under 25 minutes i gotta speed things up a little bit i need to focus a bit i think i'm talking too much and uh, getting sidetracked here so yeah let's do this properly let's do this properly it's just very unfortunate that like we can't um do that much damage with the tech gods because if the tech gods were doing their proper amount of damage then we would have been out of here already man like my i i think if the tech gods were doing you know, as much as the LR Super Saiyan 4s are right now, then yeah, we would already be done at this point. So that's kind of holding us back. Maybe I should have just brought like a, you know, I probably just should, I probably should have just brought a GT Heroes team. If I'm being honest, I just really wanted to like use the gods because you know. The Super Saiyan 4s were featured so much in the last Extreme Z Battle video, and these guys got no no shine, but yeah, realistically, it doesn't really make sense to bring them on this run because they're really just uh, wasting time because their super attack animation is so long, and then they get the additional supers too, and they're still not doing any damage, you know? So <laughs> yeah, I, I think I'm going to switch it up. I think I must switch it up. We're gonna do GT Heroes, which I think I have prepared already. Um, and that should really speed up our run for the rest of the levels and hopefully get us, well, I think 25 minutes is actually out of the question now, but hopefully get us to like under 27 minutes, maybe 28, something in that range. Okay, so here we go. Level 24. GT Heroes, uh, there we go, that works, yeah, that works, and then I'm gonna change it to, of course, LR Super Saiyan Force, there we go. Yeah, I'm sorry to the God Boys, but they just are not effective on this event, it just does not work, and now we're basically, at least we should be, um, you know, one-shotting all the way through now, or, or maybe two hits, but like, I think Super Saiyan 4 is going to one-shot the Super Saiyan God Vegeta. And then I think the LR Super Saiyan 4s are going to one-shot the uh, Goku. Oh, wow. Okay. So, Vegeta's still alive. He has a good amount of HP. I see. I see. Good amount of HP. All right. So, he's still dead after this attack, for sure. And then additional... Um, we shouldn't be able to finish off the Goku here, but... I think the next attack should be good enough. Yeah, the Vegeta will do it. There we go. 
So not not as efficient, not as efficient as I was hoping. But to be fair, the friend I think was only 55%. I gotta pick some better LRs per saying four friends. Cause uh Yeah, that one didn't hit too hard. Okay, now this is better. Rainbow Super Saiyan 4 is. Of which there are a lot on the friends list. I don't know what these people are doing, man. A lot of people on my friends list are uh are kind of crazy like Toon for example yo Toon went like off on this anniversary I was really surprised like I knew he saved a lot of stones I didn't know how many stones he had saved the summon on these banners man this guy spent like he told me like 9,000 stones between uh you know streams and videos and maybe some off-camera summons and stuff like that like 9,000 stones man that's like that's truth territory right there, man. That, that that's truth territory, and and you know, like I respect it. I respect it. It's just I I didn't see it coming. I, I didn't see it coming. So good for him. He rainbowed both, um, which ultimately worked out. But that's a lot of stones to spend still, man. I guess like it depends on your luck. But I have done that as well. Obviously not this time. I'm done pretty much uh, with the banners at this point. But like. In previous years when I rainbowed both, I think the most it took me was like 5,000? And if I remember correctly, the 5th and 6th anniversaries took me about about 3,000 per. I think it was 3,000 per unit to rainbow both. So I've had some like pretty, I mean honestly, pretty blessed anniversary luck. And this year was kind of the same. Like I didn't rainbow both, but I didn't spend that many stones either. I think in total I spent like 1,200 stones maybe. And I got three copies of the Super Saiyan 4s, two copies of the, the God Boys, um, a couple of the Brolies, a couple of the Sin Chen Rons. And I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with that. I, like I told you guys a while ago, I am done with rainbowing units on their first banners because it's just not fun man it's not fun because they always eventually come back and you always eventually pull additional dupes that um you know become frustrating so i don't want to go through that again i, I don't want to put myself through that again so instead of you know going balls deep on like every banner i just go for you know a single copy a lot of times but for special celebrations like this i'll go for like a dupe maybe two and then I'll call it a day so that next time they come back I'll still be hyped I'll still be excited when I get copies whereas like if I go for the rainbow immediately then it's just um, kind of disappointing when I pull when I pull more dupes that uh, I can literally do nothing with unless they release like a secondary you know potential system which I don't really see happening like I think that our current potential system is pretty much going to be the final potential system in the game. It would be awesome if they could just like let us feed in dupes for additional stats, right? Up to like plus 10, for example, right? You can do like a rainbow, okay, maybe not plus 10. <laughs> that might be too much. Maybe plus 5, right? So like you have like a rainbow LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, for example, and then every dupe you put in increases all stats by plus 100. Right on top of that, so it's like plus one would be plus 100, plus two would be plus 200, something like that. Um, that'd be kind of cool, and you know, obviously, it would increase the incentive for people to go for more dupes, I guess. But at the same time, it's not going to be a huge boost. Like, I wanted, I want it to be something where it's like not a huge difference, but it still is something to do with your extra dupes, you know, beyond rainbow status, where like, you know, if you're aren't a whale you don't feel like you're missing out that much and if you are a whale you're not getting that much more of a benefit to your units but you do feel like you're not just getting like baba points essentially for getting dupes of really good units so that's something that i wouldn't mind but i know that some you know a lot of people might be against that because it does seem like a uh more um i guess pay to win system or whatever you want to call it so I don't know. I haven't really like fully thought it out. You guys can let me know in the comments what you think about something like that. But uh, I wouldn't mind it 
personally, just because I have so many dupes of all these like units, like the the STR Rose or the um, Int LR Rose. I have like five extra dupes. Um, AGL LR Gohan, I have at least five, maybe six. Uh, for some reason, STR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta Man, I have an extra nine copies, I think, of STR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. So, yeah, I would really love to give him a boost because I think he needs it. Well, I mean, right now he needs it. Once he gets the Extremes the Awakening, he is actually a monster. He is actually really good. And then Super Saiyan 4 Goku, same thing. A bunch of a bunch of extra dupes. And I can't wait for that Extremes the Awakening because he's already really good. He's still putting up like five, six uh, million attack per super, right? But with the Extremes the Awakening, this guy's getting like... Uh, I don't even know the number actually. I just know he hits really hard. He gets much better defense. It's gonna be awesome. So yeah, the EX part can't come any sooner. But um, you know, what? I'm gonna just enjoy the moment. I'm gonna enjoy the anniversary. I'm gonna enjoy these extremes awakenings, which we are about to get done very very soon because this is the last level, and we are gonna be under 30 minutes. Not by much, unfortunately. Let me just uh get ready to. Stop the clock here. Yeah, we should be at like 2940 or so. I think this is gonna do it. Oh no, it's not. Never mind. This is gonna do it. This is gonna do it for sure. So let's say 2945? 46? This animation's kinda long. And there we go. Okay, so we finished it in 29 minutes and 47 seconds. Um, I did make some mistakes in this run, obviously, which, uh, you know, big part of it is just, you know, using the tech god Goku and Vegeta for much longer than I should have. But, um, you know, still a decent time, still under 30 minutes, which was the initial go, initial goal, initial goal. And I switched it to, 20, to 25 after, but didn't get there. It is what it is. So before we go, guys, let's just quickly extremes the Awaken. Our God Koo. Uh, there we go. Extremes Awaken. Okay. And as far as the super attack level goes, uh, let me see. Do I have extra God Koos? I don't actually. What? I don't have any extra Super Saiyan God Gokus apparently, like the, the tech ones. Um, I mu oh, you know what? I must have used them for some of the other God Gokus super attack levels, like maybe the LR UI Goku, for example. So, okay, let's do it like this. Let's do some L or not Elder. Oh crap, no. <laughs> I'm not gonna use 99 Sleepy Guys, but let's try. Let's try 10 Sleepy Kai's, let's see how that goes. Hopefully that's enough to get us uh, 5 super attack levels. Oh, we got 4! We got 4, solid, okay. So I'm gonna do 2 more. Let's see if that gets us 1 super attack level. And it does not. Okay, 2 more, 2 more, here we go. 1, 2. And I know I'm wasting training locations, but honestly, I'm just too lazy to switch it over. And I have a lot of them anyway, so it's not a big deal. Okay, there we go, guys. Tech God Koo is complete. Now let's do the same for the STR. Super Saiyan God Goku. Or sorry, uh, Super Saiyan God Vegeta. <laughs> Boom. Done. Training. Uh, Let's see. Sleepy Kai's once again. I'm gonna start with 10 just like for the God Koo. Okay. Let's go. 5 for 10. Let's see it. Oh, damn. It worked. Okay, perfect. So, as you guys can see, we are good to go. God Goku, God Vegeta, both ready to be showcased. I mean, their links are like not great, but. I did spend some time this morning farming them up because this guy was at all level 1 links, same with the STR Vegeta, so um, it's definitely better than it was earlier. 
but we could still put in some work. So I think I'm going to run some of those uh, link level stages, like 7.10, 8.9, and so on and so forth, a couple more times. Uh, hopefully get all their links to above 5 at the very least. And then uh, from there, I will showcase the God Goku and God Vegeta together in one video so you guys can see uh, how good these guys have become. I think they're both very good, honestly. I just think that the uh, Goku is better, you know? But hey, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. If you feel differently, that's totally cool. But that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. 29 minutes, 47 seconds. If you guys raced me, then uh, let me know, you know, how it went, what your fi uh, final time was. And uh, look forward to the showcase for both these guys, as well as a bunch of other videos for part two of the anniversary, like the red zone runs and uh, of course the LR summons when the part two banner drops. But for now, that's all I got to say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.